I genuinely think that LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is one of the prettiest games ever made. I mean, look at these beautiful, beautiful landscapes. I mean, I could literally just chill out right here. This seems like a screensaver. This is something that is absolutely incredible to see in any game, but particularly from a LEGO title. So, I know what you're asking me at this point in time, Blitz, how the heck did you get to your game to look like this? How does it look so beautiful? How does it look so clean? And I wanted to go on ahead and explain just that with today's quick video. So if you wanna make your game look like this, you just need to follow the following steps. All I did first and foremost is go on ahead and bring up our hollow projector and make sure that I deactivate the collectible detector. The reason why you don't want to have this thing turned on, because if I were to activate it right now, you'll notice immediately these little indicators all over the screen. They're not too much of a bother, but they definitely kind of take away from the immersion of the game itself. And so I would definitely recommend to actually deactivate that. Again, even if you've 100% completed the level, I still think it's a good idea to remove or the hub world, I should say, not the level. I still think it's a good idea to deactivate them because sometimes they get glitched out and you still will have them actively running. So that would be step number one is just making sure that you actually don't have your collectible detector activated. The next step is actually going to go on ahead and require you to bring up the option screen, which is different to the hollow projector because hollow projector is pretty much things that you control within the game itself. The option screen controls the overall game as a whole, how it's running. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll on over to the option setting right here. Then when you bring that up, you scroll over to the last option, which will be display options. Over here on the display options, typically speaking, you will have the minimap active on static, which I'm not a big fan of as it is, just because it just basically will always stay the way that it goes. So typically when I'm playing the game, if I'm trying to get collectibles and stuff, what I will be playing on is actually having that on the rotation mode, because I think it's the most, uh, I guess, just visually appealing way to play. It just moves the map along with you as you move along, as you can see. So it'll actually rotate along with you and your character as you're facing things. So I think that that's the superior way to play anyway, but in order to get that really kind of cinematic feel going, and especially because this game doesn't have a photo mode, by doing these little tricks that I'm going to show you guys, you can get your game to pretty much act as though there's a photo mode by just screenshotting the image itself on whatever console or platform you're playing on. But for the purposes of this video, we're actually going to go on ahead and deactivate the minimap. The next thing that I do go on ahead and deactivate is the regions indicator you do want that to be turned off as well because if you don't have that off what will happen is hold up sorry i didn't save there uh what will happen is you will actually see all the time next to your mini map you'll see the little location that you're at so even if you turn off the mini map but you still have that indicator it will always say whatever planet you're on and whatever region on that planet you're actually visiting so that will be the next thing that you actually go on ahead and turn off. So you're gonna turn off the minimap, you're gonna go on ahead and turn off the regions. And personally, in my opinion, it's a good idea to actually turn off the objective text as well, because otherwise it will randomly pop up sometimes. And that's really annoying, especially if you're trying to get a really cool screenshot, then obviously that might ruin that attempt. Then you save and bada beam, bada boom, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the absolutely gorgeous video game of Lego Star Wars, The Sky walker saga thank you guys so very much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed a quick little guide as to how to get your game to look as best as it possibly can and enjoy visiting the different planets because of course that's one of the other cool things is that when you have this turned on like for example if you want to head off to a planet like hoth you can go on ahead and make your way over to the echo base and once again, you have that beautiful, beautiful, clean shot and dynamic to go on ahead and position whatever character you want in a really cool action scene. Maybe you want to go on ahead and use this to like create thumbnails for videos and stuff. It's just a really, really clean and beautiful look for the game with a lack of all the kind of HUD interface over top of it. Thanks all for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Share it with others who maybe could benefit from it. And of course, guys, have an absolutely fan-flippantastic day. Did that lady just have a panic attack? Okay, that was interesting. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye, everybody.